Well, hello everyone, I am back again. It's a long night. I, listen, really long night. I started recording various things at five o'clock and mountain, and it's now after midnight. So I did my Liberty Boudoir, and then I was on with Fight for Liberty for two and a half hours. Then I did LP Time Capsule, and now I'm doing this. Trying to catch up. Burning the midnight oil quite literally so what are we going to be talking about now this is not going to this can be less than a half an hour okay youtube we love it we hate it we have all kinds of feels about it i do not deny the right good morning julian of private entities to censor content that doesn't mean What's the saying? Just because you have a right to do something doesn't mean it's right to do it. Okay, I think free speech, even bad free speech, is a good in and of itself for its own value. I'm going to get into that another time as to why I'm a free speech radical. But what I do not deny, I do deny the right of these platforms, particularly ones that they're all making money off of us to apply rules capriciously or just falsely that is just ridiculous and as far as i'm concerned youtube should have to file with the fec because they're basically the censoring arm of the democratic party but besides that so i had a video struck from the cult of ronr it's a station that just talks about station, a channel that just talks about parliamentary procedure. So I'm gonna show you the emails I got from YouTube. I know they have an automated system that looks for certain keywords. So I kind of forgive them for pulling down the video initially. But I appealed the decision because it was false. It was just wrong. They misunderstood. It was a robot, I could tell. And I immediately got a rejection of my appeal with a lie in it. So let me show you the emails I got from YouTube. And the reason for censoring is, even if it was true, is bullshit. But it isn't even true. So let's do this. Okay. Let me see. Is this the first one? Yeah, at 2.58. Hi, Cult of R-O-N-R. -R. We wanted to let you know our team. Your team? That kind of implies a person, doesn't it? Our team reviewed your content, and we think it violates our spam, deceptive practices, and scams policy. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Okay, and here's the video. R-O-N-R -R Daily Devotions, December 31st, 2020. Illegal ballots. And... It says down here what we're not allowed to do. This is why it got struck. Content that advances false claims that widespread election fraud, errors, or glitches change the outcome of the U.S. 2020 presidential election is not allowed on YouTube. Now, that is just dictatorial to begin with. So we're not allowed. Is, isn't part of our democratic process being able to question things? But this video didn't do that. I don't do that kind of thing on that station, a channel. Why do I keep saying station? What they did is saw the words illegal ballots and assumed that's what happened. And it was a robot, obviously. But yeah, they lied and said their team reviewed it. Bullshit, your robot did. Saw the words illegal ballots and in a paranoid fit of censorship, took down the video. The video was not about the election. Any of you guys who know anything about parliamentary procedure know immediately what it's about. It's about what do tellers do when they have invalid ballots. It was about tellers. It was about electing board officers and shit like that. It was not at all about the presidential elections, which do not run according to parliamentary procedure. So I appealed. And in less time than the video is long, I immediately got a rejection of my appeal. So let's uh, go to the response. I think it's right here. Yeah. 
So within minutes, and the video is about five, six minutes long, I got this. We have reviewed your appeal. We have reviewed your content carefully. Have you now? Don't lie, Pinocchio. You didn't review shit. A, there wasn't enough time, even if a person had actually read the email and immediately viewed the video, and it certainly wasn't carefully. Perhaps you meant to say, we reviewed the title and had a knee-jerk, piss-poor, pissy fit reaction and assumed what you were talking about. This is a lie worthy of Bill Weld. And that's saying something if you know how I feel about Bill Weld. So yeah, bullshit. You reviewed my content carefully and confirmed. They confirmed that it violates that policy. Isn't that ridiculous? So, my dear viewers, I hope you're feeling naughty because we're going to take a look at the band video to show, and we'll do some commentary on it, that it does not question the U.S. election. The closest it comes to doing that is two jokes in the beginning. You're not allowed to joke now? And they were obviously jokes. And they were long-standing jokes that have nothing to do with this election about how dead people vote for Democrats. Nowhere did we... I've often said, actually, on Cultivar ONR, I've been very outspoken, that I do not believe there was widespread election fraud. I looked into the claims. I know some people disagree with me. I don't believe it. So I'm getting accused of something I don't even believe anyway. So let's... Uh, you want, you want to see the naughty video? I know you do. I do. And maybe you'll learn something about a uh, parliamentary procedure. So let me go here. We're going to just play the whole episode, but you can see how they got triggered by illegal ballots. So hope you like parliamentary procedure. And those of you who didn't know, I have this other channel. You'll get a little taste of what we do. It's myself and Mike Seebeck, and we are just trying to have fun teaching people parliamentary procedure and having a little competition amongst ourselves. We will, we will, we will be free for when the rising tide has turned in every London quarter. Parliament comes crashing down with Parliament's rules of order. Okay, New Year's Eve. The last day of this godforsaken crazy, what the hell happened to us here? Oh, yeah, I'm bothered wasting an extra page here. Okay, nothing but cardboard. Right. Ballots are counted as illegal, colon. When they're uh, by dead people for Joe Biden. If a, if a sick bird pukes on them. That's an illegal, you know what I mean? A, if the name is misspelled. B. Well, wait, we start again because I was okay. still going on about the bird. Okay, go on. <laughs> Ballots are counted as illegal. Mm -hmm. A. If the name is misspelled. Nope. B. If cast for a fictional character. Like Joe Biden. Mm -hmm. um, C. If the ballot is blank. Not or C. D. If a member leaves one or more choices blank on a ballot containing several questions or or more than one office to be filled. No, it's not that. It's B, then. Wait a minute. If a member leaves one or more of the choices blank on a ballot containing several questions on more than one office... Yeah, it is B. Mm -hmm. Cast for a fictional character. So, folks, you can't vote for Mickey Mouse. But Even it, though it's a Mickey Mouse organization, you can't vote for Mickey Mouse. But or, it or does Trump. count towards the denominator. Right. It counts as a ballot cast with a preference, right. even though it was an illegal preference. Right. So, reference is section 45. Where we were before. Of course. I think we talked, we had one about this a while, a couple, a couple mm -hmm. of weeks ago, talking about uh, illegal ballots and the denominator and yeah. abstentions and all that shit. Uh, let's see. 45? Yeah. 416, 2 to 4 for your 11th edition, folks. Minus 45, 32. 416, 2 to 4 on our unintelligible ballots. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Unintelligible ballots or ballots cast for an unidentifiable or ineligible candidate are treated instead as illegal votes. That is, they are counted as votes cast but are not credited to any particular candidate or choice. Similarly, a ballot that contains votes for too many candidates for a given office is counted as one illegal vote cast for that office because it is not possible for tellers to determine which, can be, which candidates the voter prefers. Okay, that raises an interesting question that I'm going to bring up. We have compound ballots in this state. What, in Colorado, have, you mean? In Colorado. Okay. Now, other states have this, too, where you have multiple offices being elected at the same time, all the way from president you're, you're talk, Okay, yeah, you're not talking about party ge stuff. You're general, talking about public general, office. Okay. General election. Now, we tend not to do this in the party because we don't like, we don't like to make it too complicated. And to be fair, it works better if we do it for record-keeping, transparency, auditing, and all that mm -hmm. kind of stuff. It may take longer in the conventions, but who gives a damn? It's easier to sort into piles. It's, easier, blah, 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 it's blah. easier to do. It just takes longer. If a person, if we had a combined ballot, and we com and part of it was, let's say for, okay, I'll, I'll use the Colorado ballot for example. Mm -hmm. For president, somebody voted for a legit candidate, say mm -hmm. Joe Jorgensen, but they really couldn't stand anybody. Who, okay, if they voted for our part, our, our, our Raymond Day for U.S. Senate. They voted for whoever the libertarian candidate was for their congressional district, mm -hmm. whichever one it was. But then as they're going down the pile and they see a, a race where there is not somebody that's our candidate or someone they could stomach. possibly mm -hmm. stomach to vote for, like, for example, in, in my county, the DA ran on the post. Okay. Okay, but there's a write-in line there. They write in Mickey Mouse. Mm -hmm. Okay, or Perry Mason, let's see, because it's DA. Mm -hmm. Okay. Does their entire ballot get tossed out? No, no. Or is it just that one vote doesn't count? Um, that one vote. E e um, it, they deal with this in here, and we could find it, but when, when there's multiple questions or offices or whatever on one ballot, mm -hmm. each of those elections is counted as a separate ballot. Okay, that's fair. That's It, it says yeah. it in here. I want it for clarification. What are you doing? I'm putting my earrings in. Oh. <laughs> I've got, okay, now you can make some really dirty jokes. I've got multiple holes. Dwight, get out of my nook. That's what she said. That's what she said. That's what she said. Good one. I have no, I, I have known a few. I've known a few females in the past who have had multiple, multiple holes in their ears for questions. So yeah. I've also seen some males out there who do those ridiculous rings. Yeah, inside the like lobe where, where you can start throwing dirt. Yeah, throwing I, that really the grosses me out. Yeah, I never understood the point of any of that. That just is then again, having had an earring once, yes, I did. It didn't work for me, so I gave it up, and that was it. Well, when you, for some reason, the, the one on the bottom I had done as a baby. So, like, it never closes up. Uh -huh. But the other two that I got, even though they're, like, 30 years old, they still will close up. Mm -hmm. So, I've got, I move the earring when I wear earrings amongst, I rotate them. Yeah. Well, in my case, I tried one as a women college, you know, colleges. Did you have two earrings or just one? Just one. Mm -hmm. And it got, What design was it in? Huh? What year was it in? Left. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it, it, but it got royally infected. Yeah, that's easy to happen. Right. So I said. So after I realized that was the problem and got it to got it took 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 the thing out. It's so painful when that happens. Um, it wasn't really painful. It was just puffy. Forgive me for sounding gross, but it was just full of pus and blood. Oh yeah, of course, yeah. And once I took that out, I popped that out, and everything healed up on its own. And I said, okay, hell it, I'm done. <laughs> I had that in one of the additional piercings yeah. i had that happen i had to just let it heal and then do yeah. it again right but i just let it go i said okay i tried it didn't work that's fine mm. Move on. but it just wasn't for me it's like, okay fine yeah i've got three in each year but at the same time I, I there was a girl in college that i knew who had 12 in each year all the way up and around i the cartilage when you get that done it hurts like uh -huh. hell i won't do it and my reaction was and my reaction was similar to the line of uh, bill engvall when did shrapnel become a fashion statement? <laughs> I would have done that if it w if it wasn't so painful. But the minute you get into the cartilage, it's painful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, now, Lyd, she had it none when she was younger. She doesn't use them anymore. Oh, I would do. I love but that. She occasionally gets a buildup of dead tissue in the hole, mm -hmm. and literally have to squeeze it out, which is a pain, which yeah. is not fun. But it's you know, tweets are old. I, I would I'm do not it if it, it did hurt. I'm not going to sit here and criticize people for having earrings, but I will also sit there and say that just that doesn't look right. Those those are nothing. Oh, I would like it, but... Mm. I've also seen people, my mother had a boss once, whose earrings were made out of 
Crayola crayons and colored pencils hanging off of the loop coming down. Really? Yes. Mm -hmm. I've also seen one with, you know, the classic blonde super hoops, you know. Oh, I love those. That you can stick your ankles through, yeah. <laughs> the last video I did, I had the big hoops on. Yeah. Uh, Anyways. All right. So that was straightforward. That was it. And Thus so, ends 2020. And we'll Thank plan God. for that convention thing for January. And Yes. All right. So let me end this on here. Hold it. Oh. It is the end of the year. Grab your apple. Grab your bottom. Grab my bottom? That bottom. Grab your sounding bo sounding board. Whatever the hell this thing is. What, what are we going to do? 2020. Bam! Coronavirus. Bam! Any other insanity we have. Bam! May it end now and may it get for 2021 be normalcy, sanity, sensibility, and prosperity. Ba-bam. Ba-bam. And that's it. Yay! Okay. So, uh, let's see. Let me uh, close this. Hit finish. End with Fever! Let's hear the opposition side. Like a stubborn donkey's bray. All opposed. You say nay. Opposed. <laughs> opposed. <laughs> the motion carries anyway. Okay. Naughty video, right? We were really questioning and spreading conspiracy theories. Bullshit, right? We made two jokes. I make jokes about Biden all the time. I make jokes about Trump all the time. There was no questioning of the results of the election. The illegal ballots had to do with tellers' reports at conventions. How insane is that if we actually were doing a conspiracy video and it got yanked i would still think it's bullshit and that they should be filing with the fec but okay it's pretty well known youtube doesn't allow that and i wouldn't have done it the cult of R.O.N.R. is a non-controversial station unless like you don't like dirty jokes because we do tell a lot of dirty jokes Unreal, right? Un freaking real. But I wanted to show you guys how uh, the cult of R O N R actually had things yanked. This state, this channel hasn't, but cult of R O N R has. And YouTube censors, if you're watching this, I do not believe there was widespread fraud in the election. I think it's nutty. I looked into the claims. There's always a tiny bit in every election, but the results are what they are. Um. Trump got beat by Biden. Too bad. So sad. Get over it. Anyway, that's it for today. Again, ooh, my Patreon link. Um, I just gave this spiel before, so I'm like kind of tired, but let me just give it again. But this time I have to recognize my patrons. So if you would, oh, this isn't the newest one. There's a couple names missing crappity crap i am sorry i will update this but there is at least three names missing from the pinkies category i thought i had the most recent one but apparently i do not and i see that i misspelled wednesday <laughs> oh wednesday wednesday I think it's just going to officially be Wednesday. Nobody told me I misspelled Wednesday, but I'm going to have a lot of correcting to do. And as I had mentioned before, we are in... Ooh, I need to change that. Look at that. The lock button. In my patron page, we are going through fear and loathing on the campaign trail, 72, and learning an awful lot about this time period. It's a great supplement to LP Time Capsule. So again, for as little as a dollar a month, you can help support my show. And I would genuinely appreciate it if you can. It does make me squee like a schoolgirl. So good night, everyone. And now I've got other work to do. Uh, <laughs> it is tough. So have a good night, everyone. I love you all, and I will see you soon. Mi guapas de libertad. You gotta take what you're given, that's how we live it. Don't be mad at the system, it's simply how we've existed. 
I hear a lot of people talking like they politicians and choose to be an accountant because it's safe in a business. Not